Next, I will be talking about cataract. Cataracts are the third leading cause of blindness in the elderly. Cataracts may occur at any age from birth through late adulthood, though they are much more common with advancing age. In fact, everyone will develop some degree of cataract if one lives long enough. Cataracts are responsible for decreased vision in 18% of persons aged 65 to 74 and in 46% of persons aged 75 to 84. So, what is a cataract? We all have a natural lens inside of our eye which helps us focus at both distance and near. When we are young, this lens is clear or transparent. With increasing age, the lens becomes yellow or cloudy as we can see in this cross-sectional diagram of the eye. When the natural lens becomes too cloudy or opacified, this is called a cataract and may lead to decreased vision. In this image, we see on the left what a person with normal vision would see. On the right is an example of what a person with a cataract may see. The entire image is blurred and colors may appear not as bright or muted. In the early stages of cataract, the visual disturbance may be only mild. However, as the cataract progresses, vision loss may become more significant. The size and location of the cataract also determine the symptoms of how vision may be impacted. There are many different types of cataracts. This image shows a range of types of cataract. The image on the upper left is a yellowish cataract. The one on the upper right has white flecks. The image on the lower right is a mature, completely white cataract. And finally, the image on the lower left is a spoke-like cataract. Each of these types of cataracts may impact vision in different ways and produce symptoms such as glare, decreased distance vision, decreased near vision, a dark area in the central vision, or even complete loss to the level of legal blindness. It is not uncommon for a patient to have a combination of these types of cataracts. With regards to the treatment of cataract, there is no scientifically proven way to prevent a cataract or treat it with medication. The only proven successful treatment is removal of the cataract surgically. Surgery may be indicated if the cataract is causing significant visual impairment by affecting one's activities of daily living, such as driving, reading, watching television, sewing, cooking, etc. Cataract surgery should be done in consultation with the patient's primary care doctor. The patient must be healthy enough to undergo elective surgery. Cataract surgery is an outpatient surgery. It is performed one eye at a time. Local anesthesia, in the form of either drops or an injection, is used with sedation. Most cases require no stitches. In the United States, cataract surgery is performed in an operating room under a microscope. The vast majority of surgeries are performed using an ultrasound machine to break up and then remove the cloudy lens. Laser-assisted cataract surgery is a relatively new procedure and is becoming more available. Once the cataract is removed from the eye, a clear lens implant is placed to help the patient focus. This implant may be made out of an acrylic or silicon material. This implant is placed inside the eye so it is not readily visible. The implant remains with the patient for life. The outcome of most cataract surgeries is excellent, with over 90% of patients seeing 20-40 or better, as long as there are no other eye diseases present. There are, however, risks to consider, as with any kind of surgery. Though rare, these risks include infection, glaucoma, and retinal detachment, to name a few. A detailed discussion regarding specific risks and benefits should take place between the patient and his or her ophthalmologist prior to cataract surgery.